Hey, this is Amcantech, and in today's video, I'm going to be opening and giving a quick overview of the FX991ES, and also comparing it to the FX991ES Plus Second Edition, which is quite similar to it, but missing some features. So let's make sure I'm on frame. I bought this brand new. Uh, most likely. It will be sold out, at least on the U.S., because Casio is trying to sell their new class with CW calculators, and less so on the 991ES and EX. You get two manuals, one's in Spanish and one's in English, and also works for the FX570EX, which must be a similar calculator. And you also get the international version, which defaults to English. Here are just some uh, kind of like summaries. So let's open it up. This doesn't have programming and it also doesn't have graphing, so it's good for a lot of college courses. It has a solar panel. In addition to a battery tray to replace the battery, unlike the ES, which doesn't have one, and you would need to unscrew the whole thing to get to the battery. Also, once you replace the battery, you'll lose uh, your presets and memory. So the style is similar, and the size varies only slightly. In addition to it, the ES one has a lot more information on the back panel, where the EX one does not. It gets smudged easily. This literally just came out of the box a few minutes ago. So let's go to menu. You get a display where you could see icons in addition to choosing and you have more stuff you have like ratios inequalities uh you have more distribution and statistics stuff although you do have some of it here versus if you go ship you go menu you only have eight options and you don't see much about it so let's select and then here it, it just more, it gives you much more information on what each item is and it goes into def, uh, into more detail. You could also change contrast, which is nice depending on how uh, bright the room is. You could go all the way dark and then you probably won't be able to see it at this point. But you see all the symbols on the top of the display. Make it a bit more light. And we'll click enter. We'll click on to exit. Sometimes it's a bit inconsistent. You could also change the digit separator. Let's say if you uh, would rather a comma instead of a, a decimal. So there's a decimal mark here, you dot or comma. But as you may have noticed, you could also go digit separator. You can do on or off. You can't do this on the one ES plus. So if I type in a thousand, it'll just do a thousand. If I type a thousand here, it does a thousand, but it puts a little, uh, you can't really see it, but there's a space between it. So let's add another zero. So there, there's uh, like a space between the numbers, which you can't always see. And you don't get that on this one. So it's nice if you're dealing with big uh, numbers and computation. It's not required, but it, it could come in handy. Engineering symbols. Uh, and then you could also go. You, so you miss out on all the options here for the specifics. Instead, let's say you're in. Uh, we'll do. Let's go to matrix. Uh, let's do matrix. So we'll make a matrix. I'll do one by one. So there's two. 
and I press AC to go to the regular menu. If I was here, let's say, and I go to six matrix, one, and then let's do uh, one by one, which is three, I do two. You need to press shift, and then you either need to read it or remember the number and then matrix to see it. Versus here, you just press option, then it shows you all the options. So in one sense, it's more intuitive than another one. Uh, if you're switching between calculators, make sure to kind of familiarize yourself with the other one before you take the exam because there are some minor differences. I will post links to buy both of them in the comments and enjoy.